The oil and gas industry is a massive user of water in both extraction and processing. Typical volumes of water needed for petroleum-based fuels are 7 to 15 litres of water per litre of fuel, while for natural gas, the volumes of water are approximately 20 to 50 litres of water per barrel equivalent of oil. The sustainable energy team visited Canada's famous tar sands. The industry here has faced a lot of criticism for its water use, but one organisation, Canada's Oil Sands Innovation Alliance, has tried to reset the balance. We set a goal in 2012 to reduce our freshwater use intensity by 50% by 2022. And since 2012, the companies have reduced their freshwater use by 38%. Natural gas is often seen as a bridge energy, a cleaner fossil fuel than oil and coal. The hope is to power more with gas, such as this liquefied natural gas, LNG, powered ferry, and reduce our reliance on dirty diesel fuel. And it's not just for industrial use. In Japan, it's even made it into the home, where LNG is now powering some electrical systems and even providing hot water. In our previous apartment, we had to pay quite a lot for electricity and gas since we are a five-person family. When we moved here, I thought it might cost us even more, but because we now sell the electricity we make, our electricity bill is virtually nothing. But gas, like oil, relies heavily on water. New technologies such as fracking are expanding the world's oil and gas reserves but often these developments mean that drilling and exploration are tied not only to the availability of hydrocarbons themselves, but also to securing ample water resources to extract them. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.